When I first started filmmaking, I could never finish a project. It was like I would get started editing and then it would just end up in a way that just wasn't perfect. It wasn't exactly what I wanted it to be and I would scrap it entirely. And this honestly kept me trapped for years in filmmaking. It kept me from starting this YouTube channel. It kept me from making fun passion projects that I could actually be proud of. And honestly, I think it's really limited my entire filmmaking career. And so that's why I'm making this video because I don't want you to make the same mistakes that I did and fall into this trap of perfectionism. Now, I know a lot of people have talked about perfectionism, but in this video, I wanna talk about three main things. First off, what is perfectionism and where does it come from? Second, how can you break out of perfectionism if you find yourself trapped there now? And third, like what does life look like after you've broken out of perfectionism and how can you still make quality work if you're not trying to make it perfect? Let's get into it. Now, first things first, I think we need to know where perfectionism comes from because if you have a feeling of perfectionism, you know that you want all of your videos to be absolutely perfect. How does that start? Who's telling you that it needs to be perfect? At least for me, it's a kind of comparison mindset. Like I was looking at all the other people out there making films. I'm, I was comparing myself to Solomon Lethelm and Ryan Booth and all of these incredible filmmakers have been doing it for way longer than I have. And I would drop my phone and I would look at their work and think, man, if I can't make something like that, then should I really make anything at all? Same with YouTube. I would look at Casey Neistat or Danny Gewurz or even Lewis Potts and think, man, I'm not making those big projects or I, I don't have the same capabilities as these guys. Is it even worth me making YouTube videos? And I think because of that comparison, that's where the perfectionism really started to get a hold and keep me from actually making stuff. Because all of us, before we start making videos, we're probably consuming videos and we're watching movies as well. Like at a minimum, you're watching TV shows and movies. And I think it's super easy to look at them and say like, man, if I can't make something that's that good, should I make anything at all? If I'm really honest with myself, when I'm making a project and I kind of, if you stall out because it's just not as good as you want it to be, what keeps you from saying, hey, I can make this better or why is it so bad that it's worth just giving up on? I mean, for me, I made a ton of different projects and I would put a ton of effort into them, but then I would just stop like halfway through the editing process because they weren't turning out like I wanted to. And I didn't feel like I had the capabilities to get them to a point that I wanted to. But the funny thing about that is the only way that you get those capabilities of like, you gain those skills of man, making something out of nothing or, having a project that doesn't isn't panning out the way you want it to and then you're able to like shift it in the edit and make it something great the only way you can do that is by actually doing it and like getting those reps so i think the big question is who's telling you that your project has to be perfect now if you made it this far then you're probably trapped in perfectionism or at least you feel like you are and i am by no means the expert in breaking out of perfectionism i think that I felt trapped in perfectionism for easily five years, if not more. But I can tell you this, there is one way that I have learned to break out of it and it's the only way I know how to do it. And I don't know if there's other like thought processes out there on this, but for me, the only way to break out of it is to just brute force, literally break out of it. like. The, the solution is in the question. How do you break out of perfectionism? Like you break out of it. And that comes from just like throwing all your cares aside as best you can and just putting stuff out. That may not mean that everything you put out is good. It probably won't be actually. And that's the best part of it. Like I started posting filmmaking content on my Instagram in 2022. And if you go back and look at those videos, those first handful of videos were garbage. Like I was in my car in the Chick-fil-A parking lot talking about shutter speed. It was not it, but I had to do that because I had been thinking about this concept of like making short form educational filmmaking videos for a really long time. And I just hadn't done anything with it. And so I had to break out of it. I had to start posting. And because I started posting, I don't know, something clicked in my brain of like, okay, if I can have the courage to put that out and it's not good, I can have the courage to put something out that 
is better than that. And so it's like, I almost just lowered the bar in my brain of, I was thinking all my work had to look like, you know, Roger Deakins to then just having the realization of, well, actually, if I've already put something out there that is so bad, <laughs> I can only go up from here. And I think that breaking out of that perfectionism really just boils down to start creating and start finishing work. And I think it's important to put it out. I know that it's not popular to post social media stuff. I know that as filmmakers, we wanna just make artistic work and we want people to see it that are willing to hire us and then those people will hire us for that artistic work. That's the dream, but that's few and far between. And I think by putting that work out, you start to tell yourself that showing your work is actually part of your process. And so then by showing your work, then you start to improve your work because you want it to, you want it to be better. So yeah, that's, that's the, that's the main thing. I think in order to break out of perfectionism, you have to just start creating and not stop. And I think it's important to actually put it out. Like, what do you do when you have broken out of perfectionism? If you're starting to create, uh, you know, videos and maybe content as well, I don't know, but like you're starting to put things out there for the world to see, regardless of the quality, how can you eventually land on making films that you're proud of? Cause that's what we all want to do. The key to this is found back in the second step, back in that middle part. So if we're going to put stuff out and it's not going to be as good as we want it to be, then the important thing is, is that we look at it objectively, as objectively as we can and say, what can I improve on? And the goal isn't perfection, which is a, is a contrast to how you may have started. It's not, the goal isn't to make a perfect video. The goal is to make a video slightly better than the last one that you made. This comes with uh, shooting short films. Like I am shooting two short films in July. Last year, I shot two short films as well throughout the year with an amazing team in Oklahoma. We're now doing three short films this year, two in July, and I am actively trying to make those short films better than the two we shot last year. And I think everyone in the crew is. And that's what makes it so cool is like the first thing we make may not be the best thing that we ever make. But if we consistently try to make better and better work and look at the previous work and say, how can we improve on that? We will eventually get better and better. And if you don't stop doing that, but you continue to improve, there's nothing that's gonna stop you from continuing and continuing to get better. Like that's, if I go out every morning, I don't play golf, but if I was to go out, you probably think that I play golf, like white dude in his twenties, of course I play golf, but. <laughs> I don't, um, but if if I was to go out every morning and practice my golf swing, I'm not maybe not gonna get to Tiger Woods level, but I'm definitely gonna be a way better golfer like at the end of a year from daily practicing my golf swing. So as part of your filmmaking practice, sit down and literally practice filmmaking. Go out and make stuff that no one's asking you to make. Put it out there, like try to improve on the next thing that you make and the next thing that you make. It's okay if you fall short. It's okay if you make something that's less than perfect or I mean, everything you make is gonna be less than perfect. Sorry to break it to you, but same for me. Like nothing I've ever made is perfect, but it's okay if it's even less than the standard that you're trying to reach. The important part is that you're continuously iterating and continuously getting better. So the goal is no longer perfectionism. The goal is continuous improvement. And I think that if you can land in that place, you'll really start to see the results. And I think that that's kind of the journey that I'm on. Like I feel like I've broken out of perfectionism, but I'm now learning how to iterate and iterate and make things better and better. So hopefully this is helpful to you, but as promised, here's a little shoot breakdown. So I've got the Fuji XS20, 16 to 55. My light is coming from this door right here that is blown out, but it's just sun hitting that white door and then hitting my face. And there's a little bit of extra light that's bouncing off the ground. So that's that. All of the stuff that we talked about today, it means nothing if you don't do anything with it. So get out there and make better films.